Thank you. Hello and welcome to Get Your Own Back, the Gungeous Game Show on TV. Yes, it's me, Dave Benson Phillips, and I'm just about to introduce to you our young players. Please welcome on the side of the other team, Lara Harris. Yeah. Yeah. Hello, Lara. Hello, welcome to the show. How are you feeling? Great. You're feeling great. Now, who do you want to get your own back on? My dad. Your Vincent. dad. Your dad, Vincent. Right, I'm going to find out the reason why. My dad loves food, but sadly, he is a terrible cook. Every week, I have to suffer his grotty cooking. Toast for breakfast, Burn. bangers for lunch, burnt, pizza for tea, burnt. I'm suffering, the saucepans are suffering. So please, Duncan Dave. In that case, I think it's time we met him. Please welcome Vincent Harris. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right, yeah, yeah. Fist in the air a little bit. No, not me, not me. It's my show, all right. Now, Vincent, why do you cook up and serve this dodgy food of yours? I get all the timing wrong. It's all in the timing, but I can't get it right. You can't get it right. Well, at least it's a good admission. All right, time for us now to meet the blue team. Please welcome George Stokes. Yeah! You all right? Yeah. Right, lovely stuff. Now, who do you want to get your own back on? The coach, Andy. Your coach, Andy. And we're going to find out the reason why. My rugby coach keeps showing me up in front of a team. He played a videotape of me singing karaoke to all my teammates. So embarrassing. Then he secretly stole my teddy bear and introduced him as a new rugby ball. <laughs> now it's his turn to face the scrum. Please, dunk him, Dave. I think it's about time we welcomed him out. Please welcome Andy Fairhurst. <laughs> It's all right. You, you're okay with me. It's all right. <laughs> a rage in the cage there. Andy, why did you take this teddy bear and show it to everybody? Because rugby players shouldn't have teddy bears. Oh, dear. Yeah, I can believe that just looking at you. Anyway, time now for me to explain to our teams what they have to do. Now, both teams will play some amazing games. Our two children will try and score as many points as possible, whilst our two grown-ups will try their best to stop that from happening. Ultimately, though, it is the child with the highest score that gets that chance to push that button and get their grown-up into the gunge, which, believe me, is bigger, smellier and slimier than ever before. <laughs> Plus, they will get the chance to win themselves a fabulous mystery prize. <laughs> Who's it going to be? Is it going to be the man who's rude with food or the rugby coach whose bears he likes to poach? Let's find out as we play the very first round. Ha ha ha! The first round game is really fun. It's all to do with a washing line. I'm going to stop doing this. Right. Now, this first round game is called Weird Washing. And as you can tell, Andy has got a big fence strapped to his back. And guess what? Vincent's got exactly the same. And they've also got a line connected to it. Why? Because they have to jump up and down like mad and stop the clothes being put on the line. That's right. That's what our two children have to do. This game will last one minute, and at the end of the minute, it's the clothes on the washing line that make the points. Good luck to all of you. Three, two, one, go! Oh, yeah, as we kick off with this first round game of the old weird washing, both floats, that's Vincent and Andy jumping up and down, trying to keep that washing off the line. There goes Lara, she's doing very well at the moment. Very oh, they're just falling off. Right, let's see how young George is doing. George's not doing so brilliantly at the moment, but don't worry, still plenty of time to catch up. He's only in the first round game. Look at, look at his face, total concentration as he's leaping up and down. What is he up to? I don't know. As he grabbed that line and put it on it, that's an interesting tactic. Hey, I think George has now got the hang of this one as, he, as he's putting the pros on the line. I think the problem is these, these two men are incredibly tall. Coming up to those final five seconds now. Get some clothes on. Hang them up. Oh! Go on, Laura, please. Oh, that's it. Stop! 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 Oh, Laura, nice try. You're doing ever so well. But take a look at this. At the end of the minute, one up there, ten points. Yeah. Nice try. Nice try. All right, moving across now to George. Andy, what are you doing? <laughs> what kind of tactic is this? Like, George, just come in. Stand next door to me. Stand next 
look at me. Here we go. Take a look at this. You got one, two items up there. Well done. Twenty points. <laughs> Time now for an in-depth chat with the blue team. Now, George, just remind us why do you want to get your own back on Andy here? Because he stole my teddy and then showed it to all my rugby mates, which is very embarrassing. Oh, that has got to be the height of embarrassment, isn't it? I mean, that is so cruel. I mean, you embarrass Teddy, you embarrass George. <laughs> what do you say for yourself? So fancy a rugby player having a teddy. <laughs> now, it's so funny yeah. that you should say that, actually, because we're going to do what's known as teddy therapy on you, mate. <laughs> That's right, teddy therapy indeed. And it's right, right here. Oh. Now, you see this? Now, th this is a teddy here called Cuddles, OK? Now, as you can tell, he's got rugby gear on. And what we need you to do today, I'll get your own back, is to cuddle this here teddy. Oh, no. Yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> every ten minutes, all right, every ten minutes. So, so you've got to start off now. He's due for a cuddle. Right. Yeah. Oh, there you go. <laughs> no, 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 I'm not, no, I'm not satisfied with that, Andy, mate. Because oh. I want you to give it a nice big wet slobbery kiss. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's my. Right. Yes. 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 And you got to do that every ten minutes or yeah. so, all right? Yeah. Or when I feel like it. All right. Time out for your next game. If you like the wet stuff, stand by to hang ten with the big kahunas. This game is called Surf's Up, and this is how it goes. Take a look at this. This is Vincent, and he's on a surfboard at the moment, and what he has to do is maintain his balance for as long as possible. He's got 45 seconds to stay up there. But to make things really difficult for him will be Lara. And what she has to do is to fire the beach balls at Vincent in order to knock him off. Now, if she manages to do that in the first 15 seconds, she will get herself 30 points. Down to 30 seconds, and it's 20 points. And in the final 15 seconds, 10 points, all right? You feeling good about this? Yep. Believe me, it's a good old game. Get ready. Three, two, one, go! Yeah. Just got to find the first one. Get ready, here it goes. Bounces off, nothing happening there. As he's still on the other surfboard, that one went straight past him. Cutting across the stack, hits him on the necklace, but he's still upright. Look at this man, top concentration on his face, top concentration on Laura's face. He's wobbly. Oh, no! Oh, why? Well done, you got him off in 20 seconds. You got yourself there, 20 points. Yay! And now it's George's turn to bung those beach balls. Who's he bunging them at? Why is Big Andy over there on the surfboard? And look, he's got his bear with him. Look, Andy's bear. Isn't that nice? Now, get ready, your 45 seconds starts now. <laughs> Oh, he's to the first now, being a rugby coach, he might be a very solid man to try and get off of this surfboard. Oh, he headed that one. I can't believe this man. How rude. He's done that twice so far. Look at him. His coordination is balanced. Now, he, now he's taunting him with the bear. I can't believe it. He's using the bear as a shield. What a cruel man he is. And I suppose that's why he's a rugby coach. Look at him. Look at this, he's getting very, very confident now. Look, he's even changed his position, and he's not even fallen off yet. Go on, George, go on, get this man off. He's beginning to annoy me now. Oh, I don't believe it. As we go into the final five seconds, and he's still using the bet. He's still teasing him with the bet. Still stay to the ball, but get this, mate. You've won yourself there. Ten points! Yay! I can't believe the goodness of that, man. All right, time now for us to take a look at the scores so far. Oh, it's an interesting score. Both Lara and George have 30 points! this game, I'm going to tell you how it works. Take a look at this. This is Lara. Lara has the task of getting through this web here, like so, and going towards her dad, who's dressed up as a big spider. You can almost call him Spider-Man. She then has to nick a money bag, crawl through the rest of the webs, and put it in this treasure chest here. That way she has to sell 10 points, runs around and starts the whole thing again. She's got 45 seconds in which to get as many money bags as possible. Good luck, Lara. Here goes. Three, two, one, go! Ah! That's it. Here goes Lara now through the first part of the web. There's dad looking totally smart. Oh, now he starts to wobble about. Too late, though, because she's already got money. Yeah! You should look very angry with yourself. Never mind about that. There you go. Go on, Lara. Through that other bit of the web there. That's lovely. Right, put that in. Great. Go back to the start. Back to the start with you. There she goes, in again, second attempt, trying to grab the second money bag before the time is out. The, he's been a bit smug about this, actually. Look at him. He's waggling his head. Go on, Lara, don't mind about him. Just get through. Get on with it. That's it. Go on. 
That's it. It's in the case. Well done. Right, coming up to your final few seconds now. Come on, Lara. That's it. Yeah, get your knee pad up. That's lovely. <laughs> Go on, grab one. No. Oh, now he starts to dig him out. That's it. She's stuck in the spider's web. Let's take a look. Here, I've got to climb inside the chest. Look at this. <laughs> look at that. Two money bags. <laughs> nice one, Lara. 20 points. <laughs> OK, now it's George's turn to rob the money spider. Listen, you ready for this, mate? I am. He, he is. Look, he looks like a coil spring at the moment. But who's guarding the money? Why, it's Big Andy, complete with teddy bear as well. Isn't that great? All right, now, if you want to be in with the running, you've got to get more than 20 points. Get ready. Three, two, one, go! <laughs> Now, being a rugby player, he should be very good at this. Mind you, so's his coach. Look at the way he's moving around there. Oh, but he moves like that in the scrum. That's it. George, George, don't hang about that. That's it. Get underneath. Get underneath. Get through those webs. Look, he's, he's, oh, go on. That's it. Don't hang about. Put it in there. It's in. Run round and start again, young man. Start again. Now, although this game's full of bungees, it's a lot tougher than it looks as he has to get through. Get through the spider. In this case, it's his big coach, Big Andy. Grab a bag, just like he's said. Oh, he's got caught up! He's got caught up! I can't believe it. Go on! Go on, get up with it. You've got less than 10 seconds. Get that in. Very good. Now, go around the sun again. Go on! Go on! That's it! Believe me, it is a tough game, this one. Simple but tough. Take a look at this, George, mate. Two money bags, 20 points. <laughs> yeah. OK, now it's time to take a look at those scores so far. Oh, it's still level pegging. Both Lara and George have 50 points. <laughs> OK, time for a chat now with the yellow team. Lara, just remind us why you want to get your own back on your dad. Because my dad's re a really bad cook. He's a really bad cook. Now. She says you're a really bad cook, Vincent. Um, do you eat any of your own cooking? No, no, just, I just <laughs> give it to my kids. <laughs> <laughs> now, that's an honest answer for you, because to tell you the truth, actually, I don't believe you could be that bad at cooking. In fact, I want to show off some of your other skills in cooking. Would you be, would you be up for that? Yes, definitely. Lovely stuff. All right, get ready. Lads! Here come the men in black. They've got a little demonstration for you to take part in. Here we go. Lovely stuff. Right, come with me, Vincent Macy. Right, I need you to stand over there. Now, what we would like you to do, and get your own back, is to do some serious pancake tossing. There you are. There's your pancake. Just toss that. See if you can get it round and land it back on the frying pan, please, if you don't mind. Yep. Whoa! One. Not bad, not bad. Tell you what, if I take that one off, we'll do another one, because I was expecting that to go all over the place. Right, number two. A bit higher? Yeah. Uh, well, just do as you feel. It's not that bad, you know. Come on, number two. <laughs> So, right. Oh, look, mushy side there, right? Third and final one, get ready. Will he get this one out? All the way round. Here we go. Oh, two out of three, not bad. I was expecting a messy old time. I tell you what, what do you think, everybody? Re worth a round of applause? Yeah. I think so, too. Not so bad there. A little bit of more practice and you'll be all right. Time now for the next game. See ya. Yeah. OK, time now for the game. Before the gun, it's slammed on 2000. And get ready for this explanation. Both children have to go very carefully across these yellow stepping stones, ball in hand like so. They then have to score it into the basket. Sounds easy, but it's not. Why? Because inside those baskets are both Andy and Vincent, and they're jiggling around like so, because they don't want the balls to go inside. Mind you, if they do, each ball scored will be worth 20 points. This game will last one minute. Good luck to all of you, because it's all level pegging. Three, two, one, go! <laughs> That's it, off they go. Now, as you know, both of these two are very well matched. They've managed to keep the scores level up to now, but anything can happen in this last game. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, as Laura and George run around, balls in hand, trying to score them into the next. I think George just missed one just there. Total concentration is needed for this last game, especially if they want to get their gun up into the gun. Who is it going to be? I think George just missed out on that one, but don't worry, don't worry. There's still a few more seconds where he can still score. Lara's doing... Oh, she missed that one! And so did George. And as you can tell there, there's still the bear. And he's still got the bear. Has he put that one in? He doesn't hang about to find out. Look at this. They're both on, both evenly matched. But somebody has got to win this game. Oh, Lara's just put one in. George is just going for his one. Time is now rapidly running out. 
He's got that one in. Coming up with into those final 10 seconds. Oh, it's down to the five. Oh, four, three. Who's going to do This is where I come in and check. You all right there, Lara? Right. Lean this way. Lean this way, Vincent. Get ready. I'm going to count the balls. One, two, three. Nice one, Lara. 60 points. All right. Move across, George. Stay right where you are. Oh, no. Oh, no. You've got to see this. Get ready. One, two, three. Also 60 points. Oh, it's a scary one. It's a scary one. Let's take a look at the scores so far. This is absolutely incredible. Both Lara and George have 110 points each. Yeah! This has got to be one of the tightest scores so far. Both of our players have got equal scores. They are well and truly matched. We have a tie-break situation. The only way to sort it out is with the help of Benson's bag. Now, inside this bag, there are ping-pong balls. Each of them have numbers on. And basically, they will put their hands in, and the highest number on the ball wins, and they get their chance to get that grown up into the guns. You both ready for this? Ah, oh, of course, and Dave. All right, you ready for this, Lara? Yep. All right. I just want to say that both of you have played incredibly well. Please put your hand inside. Not look at all. Not look, not look at all. That's it. I am so nervous. Go on, have a search. Right there, you go. All right. I'm going to get rid of this. Here we go. Right, yours is a uh, number three. We hold it up there. Number one. And Lara's got a number one, it means that George gets the chance. <laughs> it means by literally the luck of the draw that we have to lose, Lara. Lara, listen, you did ever so well. Have you had a good time here? Yeah. Please give Lara a huge round of applause, because I'll tell you what, it was, it was. She was gunning for you to be in the guns, mate. Yeah. Your cooking is absolutely dodgy, and she just wanted you to be in there. You're going home nice and dry, how do you feel? Great. Absolutely yeah. fine. Oh, yeah, he says that. And listen, we've got for you, Vincent, mate, this certificate that says, I, Vincent Harris, promise to try harder with my cocking and uh, not burn any more food. All right, so there you are. You adhere to that. Thank and you. hopefully the food might improve. Please, for you, and I have such pleasure in giving you this. There you are, your very own get your own back sweat top and bag as well. Please give Lara and her dad, Vincent, a huge round of applause. <laughs> Away you both go. Close. And speaking of close, it's almost that time to get ready. George, Andy, up you both come. That's lovely. The pair of you. Oh, look, you're here already, George. Oh, look. Oh, look. Look at him. He doesn't look best pleased about this. Don't hide behind your bear, mate. You know what's about to happen, don't you? Sure do, Dave. Hey, oh, sure do. I like it when he says that. And you know what's about to happen, too, don't you? Yeah. And I'm glad you got your bear with you. Please, both of you go through towards my triangle of terror as we now get ready for a serious scrum down in the gun stunk. <laughs> Take a look at Andy here as he's now poised for a drop into me slot. Believe me, you can't tackle your way out of this one. <laughs> anyway, what I'm going to do, so as to make your agony really agonising, is I'm going to ask you three questions, Andy. For every question you get right, you will stay exactly where you are, which is poised above the gunge. However, should you get a question wrong, and there is a fair old chance of that, you will be dragged up and away from the gun. So it's a case you, you'll be coming in at great speed. Yep, you're going down, Andy! You're going down, man! But from just how high? Ah, let's find out right now. First question is a uh, pop music question. What do you like on pop music? Not too bad. Well, all right then. Well, it's rugby related, actually. Get ready. What was Boy Band's five debut single? What was Boy Band's five debut single? Now, I bet you know this name. No. no. No? Oh, that was so close. It's in fact Slam Dunk Da Funk. <laughs> he didn't get it right. What do we do? Crank That's it. We crank him up. There he goes. Slam Dunk Da Funk, which is what we're going to be doing with him later on. All right. Second question. Again, pop music bass. Get ready. Robbie Williams proposed to which member of All Saints? Now, if you know your gossip, you'll be good on this one. Now, all of them? <laughs> <laughs> no. Robbie Williams, yes, he would have proposed to all of them, but we wanted one specifically. The person was Nicole. He didn't get it. What do we do? Crank him up! Yes, we crank him up, y'all. There he goes. Look at him. He's grinning out of sheer fear here, isn't he? This is what happens when you nick people's teddy bears, all right? Third and final question. Which CBBC art programme features an art gallery? You know. 
Take heart. Take heart. Oh, so close by about 15 years. The answer is, in fact, smart. What do we do? <laughs> We crack him up. He didn't get any of them right. Look at that. You're going down. Yeah, you heard it from George. You're going down, man. You nicked this guy's teddy bear. We made you look really stupid. Now it's George's turn. Get ready, George. Push that button and get your own back. <laughs> Now that is what I call one serious touchdown. Listen, George, mate, George, you got your own back on Andy. Wait, you got your own back on him. How do you feel? I feel great, Dave. Hey, he feels great. And let's find out what great prize George has also won himself. You've won a fabulous PGL Adventure Holiday. No! Oh, I'll tell you what, he's absolutely pleased. Now, have you had a great time here? Of course you have, Dave. Oh, yes, indeed. And we've got some other prizes for you. Look at this. Your very own Get Your Own Back Swept Up. You can Thank wear that you. to your matches. Yeah. Also, your fabulous bag as well. Plus, a GYLB trophy. Give it up for George. Yay! Lovely stuff. I'm going to take that. But take a look, look, look. This man has been, this man here has been well and truly tackled. Get a load of him. He won't nick anybody's bears ever again. And plus, guess what? You get to have the special prize of that bear. You can keep it forever, mate. Is that right? Oh, he's really pleased about that. Anyway, that's enough from us here at Get Your Own Back. But do join us again real soon for more fun and more guns. Bye-bye, everybody. See ya! Yeah.